Hello, welcome to another video demonstration of Map Business Online. Today we're going to look at the Data Window Toolbar. The Data Window is available up here on the Overall Map Toolbar. We've gone through all of the other toolbar icons. We're going to look at that Data Window. The Data Window comes up whenever you import data and throw it on the map. Uh, in this case, we've already imported this particular data set. You can see it on the map in blue dots. You can see there's a territory map that's already been established here with a variety of territories and a legend. In the data window, we'll start here on the left. This data dropdown lets you choose what data sets you'd like to view on the map. And in this case, we've got a customer list that's, that's been brought in on the map, and then we've got a territory template uh, that we've worked with and then there's all those states uh, that were basically pulled into the state layer was used to create territories and those territories are listed here so you can actually click on a specific territory and see the states that are associated with it uh, both in name and an abbreviation and that could be utilized uh, both as uh, county and zip code and state uh, territory segments let's go back up to that general data set just for the purposes of this demo. The next button is the symbology button and this allows you to pick different symbology uh, for your data on the map. So you could go in and change colors, you could change shapes uh, for your uh, symbols on the map. The button beside that allows you to adjust the size of those symbols on the map. So you're able to go up and down um, with those data symbols on the map. Here's a lookup for data within the data window. You simply key in a data set, use the binoculars, and it will pull up whatever that keyword is, uh, something that holds that key information in it. Uh, so there's that data, and then you can delete it using that little button and go back to your overall view. And the filter tool, and you can see that there's a filter on the icon. That's what that is. Uh, allows you to go in and filter your data and look for key segments of data. So let's go in and uh, if we look at type, uh, you could go in and look for contains small, spell it right, and filter by that. And then you would get all of the types that happen to be small are listed here. You can go back and undo the filter just by simply click, clicking that closed and filtering again and then now it brings you back with all of your data so you can see the large and the smalls coming up in there. This button lets you uh, create a marketing list with no data in it in case you want to create something ahead of time and then add data to it over time. This button just simply lets you go in and edit existing marketing lists uh, from within the data window. This button is, is a very important button. If you click on this button, you can see a selection of territories that we've already created in this particular map. So we could go in and choose to search that territory, that boundary of territory, and search for all of the data that we've imported in this file up on the right hand, excuse me, left hand corner. We could search for all that data within that territory. So let's just create a file. We create that file, and it brings up all of the data that's within that particular territory. So let's look at that on the map. We've imported a list of ABI customers, and there's the Detroit territory. You can see it labeled here. It's labeled here. Not a lot of blue dots in that territory, but there is one, Youth Villages, and again, that's what we've pulled up here was Youth Villages down here in the data window. So if you had had a whole bunch of data, you could then save that data as an Excel file and export uh, out to, a th to save it for a third-party application. The next button on the toolbar lets you manage those lists, so you could go in and delete that list that we just created. Go back to that other view. And you could also go in and, and delete territories. Uh, so that's, that's a way to manage your territories and marketing lists. This button is a routing tool. 
you'll notice that the green car shows up uh, on any record. So you could go in and route based on you know these particular uh, records, start, stop, finish. And we've already reviewed that in a previous video demonstration, so I won't go into routing uh, right now. And then again, the last button is an export to CSV file so that you can save that data file for use in third-party applications. So all of that's very, very interesting, I think, uh, for utilizing the data window tool. I can show you one more uh, application of the data window that's very cool for territory management. If you bring up a territory and you hover right here over that name file, click on that pencil, drop down in the drop down window, here's demographic data, and lo and behold, we've got a whole bunch of information here. This is household income, households, uh, we've got uh, breakdowns of income, population. Let's just click on population. I'm going to pull that over into this column. We're going to set the data column. And lo and behold, you now have population associated with every geographic segment you have within that territory. Again, you can export that to Excel and utilize that in your territory management tools. Um, that's the data window demonstration for today. We thank you for taking the time. Uh, go to mapbusinessonline.com and take our 30-day trial to see if this application is appropriate for your workflow. Thank you very much.